Hey, what's up guys? It's Gaming Guru, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get better at building. And I don't mean building houses like this, so make sure you stick around, and I hope this video helps you out. Alright, so the first tip I'm going to tell you about is the build key. You want to make sure you have the build key bound to a button that you're comfortable with and that you can always reach. Since you're going to be pressing this button a lot during matches while you're fighting somebody, it is really important to have it bound somewhere that you can reach easily and that is comfortable. You can have the build key to set to whatever button you like. You can have it set to X, circle, triangle, whatever. You could be right click on the right joystick or on a bumper or anything. Just as long as you're comfortable with it, it'll work fine just for you. And to go along with the build key, you want to be able to jump at the same time. So you want to make sure that you can jump and build comfortably with any keys that you think are comfortable. And along with jumping and building, you want to make sure that the keys you use to place walls and ramps are also accessible and are comfortable. Next, once you've got all your key binds set to where you want them, you want to head back into your settings go over to your sensitivities and go to a sensitivity that suits your gameplay you might want to be able to sprint around a hundred times in a second well then you gotta change your sensitivities and put them all the way up so you can spin just like this all day or maybe you wanna chill out and have a little bit slower gameplay and go a little slower well to do that you gotta go all the way down just like so which is going to take a long time to turn but if you really want to get better at building you gotta find that that sweet spot where your sensitivity is not too high and not too low so that you can turn pretty quick and whenever you start building you can build pretty quick now but you gotta keep in mind this sensitivity also includes the sensitivity with your guns so you when you turn and aim you're going to start turning a little quicker than you think but you can also adjust that with your ADS sensitivities right here <clears throat> and along with your standard sensitivities like your vertical and horizontal speed you can change the boost to see how fast you're going to turn so that it gives you just a little bit of boost that includes your regular sensitivity and your ADS sensitivity, your aim down. And to help you find the right sensitivity, I like to build just a little bit. I like to start slow with your 90s and then see how fast you can turn. If you're turning a little bit too fast and you want to slow it down a bit, then you just lower your sensitivity. But if you're turning too slow, then you can just pick it up. And you can also mess with the boosts and see if that helps your case or not. Next, once you've got your sensitivities and your buttons placed right where you think you want them, I like to start editing. You can just edit little simple things like a window or just little triangles or a door or anything. If you're editing a little bit too quick and you start missing, and you, you miss an edit or you're doing this, then you might want to slow down a little bit, get used to the edit, so that you can get it right every time. You really want to make sure that you have your sensitivity and editing down so that you can hit 90s perfectly 10 times, 20 times in a row without without fail. That's when you know you've got just the right sensitivity and just the right boost. And this is really going to help you take high ground and take balls and edit a lot better than you used to. But it's going to take some time, take some practice. Maybe a few minutes right before you start getting into matches or in right 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 after you finish your matches you can practice some more now a little bonus tip I've got for you when you're en ending a match and you've got a lot of material a lot of metal and there's only a few players left you really want to use metal and I'll show you why right now you see when you start wood it starts off right at about 84 HP you can see it right there 84 you can go to brick it starts off at 93 
right there, 93, it jumps right to 101 real quick. But when you use metal, it starts off right at 101. 101, 101. And this is really going to help you for those players that like to spam your builds with spray and are trying to pickaxe your builds. That, that little bit of HP is really going to give you some time so that you can build up and try and get away from them or heal up as soon as you can. Just a little side note I wanted to share. And with that, I think that'll conclude this video. I hope you really enjoy it and I hope this helps. Be sure to keep practicing and if you feel like you're going a little too slow, make sure you pick up your sensitivity and make sure to practice your edits after you change your sensitivity. So yeah, drop a like, leave a sub. Thanks for watching guys. Peace. You got the sauce, bitch.